Fauvisme. Les fauves, in English, are the wild beasts. Fauvism is the style of les fauves, French for the wild beasts, a group of early 20th century modern artists whose works emphasized painterly qualities and strong color over the representational or realistic values retained by Impressionism. While fauvism as a style began around 1904 and continued beyond 1910, the movement as such lasted only a few years, 1905 to 1908, and had three exhibitions. The leaders of the movement were André de Rain and Henri Matisse, artists and style. Besides Matisse and de Rain, other artists included Albert Market, Charles Camoin, Louis Valtat, Jean Puy, Maurice de Vlaminck, Henri Manguin, Raoul Dufy, Othon Fries, Georges Ruault, Jean Metzinger, Kies van Dongen, and Georges Braque, subsequently Picasso's partner in Cubism. The paintings of the Fauves were characterized by seemingly wild brushwork and strident colors, while their subject matter had a high degree of simplification and abstraction. Fauvism can be classified as an extreme development of Van Hoss post-impressionism fused with the pointillism of Surat and other neo-impressionist painters, in particular Paul Sinak. Other key influences were Paul Cézanne and Paul Gauguin, whose employment of areas of saturated color and notably in paintings from Tahiti strongly influenced Rain's work at Collier in 1905. In 1888 Gauguin had said to Paul Cerusier, How do you see these trees? They are yellow. So, put in yellow, this shadow, rather blue, paint it with pure ultramarine, these red leaves. Put in vermilion. Fauvism has been compared to Expressionism, both in its use of pure color and unconstrained brushwork. Some of the Fauves were among the first avant-garde artists to collect and study African and Oceanic art, alongside other forms of non-Western and folk art. Leading several Fauves toward the development of Cubism. Origins Gustave Moreau was the movement's inspirational teacher, a controversial professor at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris and a symbolist painter, he taught Matisse, Market, Manguin, Ruault and Camoin during the 1890s, and was viewed by critics as the group's philosophical leader until Matisse was recognized as such in 1904. Moreau's broad-mindedness, originality and affirmation of the expressive potency of pure color was inspirational for his students. Mattis said of him, he did not set us on the right roads, but off the roads. He disturbed our complacency. This source of empathy was taken away with Moreau's death in 1898, but the artists discovered other catalysts for their development. In 1896, Mattis, then an unknown art student, visited the artist John Russell on the island of Belle Isle off the coast of Brittany. Russell was an impressionist painter. Mattis had never previously seen an Impressionist work directly, and was so shocked at the style that he left after ten days, saying, I couldn't stand it anymore. The next year he returned as Russell's student and abandoned his earth-colored palette for bright Impressionist colors, later stating, Russell was my teacher, and Russell explained color theory to me. Russell had been a close friend of Vincent Van Gogh, and gave Mattis a Van Gogh drawing. In 1901, Maurice de Vlaminck encountered the work of Van Gogh for the first time at an exhibition, declaring soon after that he loved Van Gogh more than his own father, he started to work by squeezing paint directly onto the canvas from the tube. In parallel with the artist's discovery of contemporary avant-garde art came an appreciation of pre-Renaissance French art, which was shown in a 1904 exhibition, French Primitives. Another aesthetic influence was African sculpture, of which Vlaminck, D. Rain and Matisse were early collectors. Many of the fauve characteristics first cohered in Matisse painting, Lux, Calm et Volupte a Luxury, Calm and Pleasure, which he painted in the summer of 1904, while he was in Saint-Tropez with Paul Sinak and Henri Edmond Cross, Salon d'Autumn 1905. After viewing the boldly colored canvases of Henri Matisse, André de Rain, Albert Market, Maurice de Vlaminck, Kiz van Dongen, Charles Camoin, and Jean Puy at the Salon d'Autumn of 1905, the critic Louis Vauxelles disparaged the painters as a force, wild beasts, 
thus giving their movement the name by which it became known, Fauvism. The artists shared their first exhibition at the 1905 Salon d'Autumn. The group gained their name after Vauxhalls described their show of work with the phrase the Donatello chez les Fauves the Donatello among the wild beasts, contrasting their orgy of pure tones with a Renaissance-style sculpture by Albert Mark that shared the room with them. Henri Rousseau was not a fauve, but his large jungle scene The Hungry Lion Throws Itself on the Antelope was exhibited near Matisse's work and may have had an influence on the pejorative used. Vauxhall's comment was printed on 17 October 1905 in Gilblos, a daily newspaper, and passed into popular usage. The pictures gained considerable condemnation, a pot of paint has been flung in the face of the public, wrote the critic Camille Mauclair 1872-1945, but also some favorable attention. The painting that was singled out for attacks was Matisse's Woman with a Hat, this work's purchase by Gertrude and Leo Stein had a very positive effect on Mattis, who was suffering demoralization from the bad reception of his work. Mattis' neo-impressionist landscape, Lux, Carmet Velupt, had already been exhibited at the Salon des Independents in the spring of 1905. Salon des Independents 1906 Following the Salon d'Autumn of 1905, which marked the beginning of Fauvism, the Salon des Independents of 1906 marked the first time all the fourths would exhibit together. The centerpiece of the exhibition was Matisse's monumental Le Bonheur de Viva at the Joy of Life. Critics were horrified by its flatness, bright colors, eclectic style, and mixed technique. The triangular composition is closely related to Paul Cézanne's Bathers, a series that would soon become a source of inspiration for Picasso's Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. The elected members of the Hanging Committee included Matisse, Sinak, and Metzinger. Salon d'Autumn 1906 The third group exhibition of the Fauves occurred at the Salon d'Autumn of 1906, held from 6 October to 15 November. Metzinger exhibited his Fauvist divisionist portrait of M. Robert Delaunay, number 1191, and Robert Delaunay exhibited his painting Elam à la Tulipe, a portrait of M. Jean Metzinger, number 420 of the catalogue. Matisse exhibited his Lisers, two still lifes, a tapis rouge, and a la statuette, flowers, and a landscape, a no 1171-1175. Robert Antoine Pynchon showed his prairies in Andes a Saint Etienne du Rouvray, Presse de Ruined number 1367, now at the Musée de Louviers, painted in Fauvist style, with golden yellows, incandescent blues, thick impasto, and larger brush strokes. Paul Cézanne, who died during the show on the 22nd of October, was represented by ten works. His works included Maison Dans Les Arbors and No. 323, Portrait de Femme and No. 235, and Le Chemin Tournant and No. 326. Van Dongen showed three works, Montmartre of 492, Mademoiselle Leda, 493, and Parisian, a 494. André Dirain exhibited eight works, Westminster Londres, a 438, Arbors Dans UN Chemin Croze, 444, along with five works painted at Ellistac. Camoin entered five works, Dufy 7, Fries 4, Manguin 6, Market 8, Puy 10, Valat 10, and Vlaminck was represented by seven works. Gallery of Selected Artworks of Fauvism